I'm going to try to do my video downtown packs, but I'm going to point out something there. The air conditioning unit is at least almost 10 feet off the ground. They do that because of flooding. Yes, it does flood that bad here. It floods bad here. I don't know how people still live along the banks of paint quick in some of these spots. You'd think the water would drive them out. I think that's the reason the city hall is behind the library now. The Pax Town Hall is now behind the library. I do know back at the end of August it's flooded pretty bad because there's a, if you've seen a few of my videos, and I've done one video so and how high the water was, but I don't think I've uploaded that video. Because I've done two drive stream videos of just driving through filming how bad the flooding was. New box installed at school office. Please deposit your payments at the school. Huh, that might, I don't know if it's the right size drop box or not. That reminds me of lady has that store mount Hope was asking about. I think that was a train? Was asking about some stuff. She's looking for a certain size drop box for that new off killing store in Mount Hope. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. They're coming up through here with all these new poles. Well, one thing for sure is when no trains by today, I could tell they're still rust when Saturday's rain. Okay, there might actually be a train. I can't tell. I don't know how many times I come here, I think I'm here train horns that's trucks on the highway. I just noticed that brand new, brand new pole that's here. Appalachian Power is doing poles here too. It's definitely been nothing through. I hear all the trucks. Let me get back to my thing. That's our old abandoned sorts. I know I need to place my orders soon for packs down to take home. And hope there's no more craziness today. I've had enough. I know I tried to do a video here one day when there's a train coming. Some idiot at that one house starts screaming at me. And that's now another bucket comes flying over the fence there and lands on the street and I got in the car and left. Because that was very weird. And uncalled for. I'm gonna walk behind the fire department. Well, I could walk in front of the fire department. I don't know if anybody's gonna come out of the house that's mad or not. There's like one house here. The house I lived in as a kid is gone. It's set right there. You can see the driveway is still there. I lived there for about a year, year and a half, and I was in the sixth grade going to the seventh grade. The house burnt down. So the other two houses passed it. <laughs> Try not to drag too much attention. <laughs> Dog is a little upset. Now the house out here might be for sale. I don't know. But here's that storm drain. <laughs> Nothing to sight in here, just a storm drain. I did look at some old photos of packs. I got a book of fake county history that I bought from that Del Payne comes out with. I think of the I think that's the name to offer it, Del Payne. He's done a lot of books at Fayette County. He's done the Paint Creek Mine Wars and a lot of stuff about Fayette County itself, which is the county I live in here. I do need to get out and do videos in more areas besides just here. I don't know what used to be here. Looks like there was a road up there at one time. Obviously, there's something up on the mountain there. At one time, there's a driveway going to it. I didn't know there's an old train station here. According to old photos I saw, there was actually a train station here at one time. Hunter Fisher Apartments. That was actually a bank. According to old photos in the history, the train station set here was a train station that's been gone since before I was born. Although this line is still used, it's not very active anymore, but the line is still used. And here's the old post office. Now, when I was growing up in the 90s, this was still the post office, I will admit. It was still the post office. Now somebody's private residence. So I can't really mess around there. Built 1930. 
I can always freeze frame and pull that off the video because I don't want to interrupt anything. But 105th Apartments was actually a bank of packs, First National Bank of Packs for years. I know when I closed down, as long as I've been around, there's always been 105th Apartments. I can say that. It's always been 105th Apartments. I really do think I hear it. I really do think I'm hearing a train. I might be wrong, but I think I hear a train. I don't know what that place is. It looks like a mailbox up there, but I think it's just a light. I don't know what used to be up there. I really don't know. <laughs> the old photos I look at don't show that. They don't, the camera, whoever took the old photos didn't angle and take pictures of the way it was up here on top of the rocks. Because since I had a video request, I wanted a meal from the Pax Data anyways. Big good excuse to come over. I could order my meal, the Pax Data. Go home, eat it, and relax for the day. Oh, poison ivy! I don't want any poison ivy, that's for sure. But 105. I think this house might actually be on the list of properties that's for sale, but I can't say for sure. Somebody was selling one of these houses here, I don't know if that's it or not. I got mine, that building the Mount Hope I'm trying to get. And the way it floods here, I wouldn't want to get this. The last time it flooded, I think the water was running through the house, through the yards there, and it probably did get in the basement of this house in front of me, but it didn't get bad enough to get in front, and it's in that whole lower area. The whole lower part of the road was covered, because that's like less than a month ago. 